Yeah, meanwhile, we can watch more of this trailer. It's kind of fun. Okay, top secret. We're going to play some videos. First yeah. one is this Ian video. Okay, Lady Data, what is this? Hey, I got some of these uh, 5.6 inch, seven color e-ink displays. These are really beautiful displays with seven different layers of color. I think it's black, white, green, blue, red, orange, yellow. And um, our designer Bruce came up with these beautiful um, seven color images. So they're dithered um, because you can't overlay colors. You have to have like each pixel be a unique color. And then um, our Arduino library now supports this. It's called ASEP. I don't know the name of the chipset, so I'm calling it ASEP. And then I'm just reading uh, bitmap images off of the built-in flash on the Feather M4. And um, here's another image of Adabot. It's very handsome. But you see it takes quite a few seconds for it to update the image, and then it has to kind of put this reverse image in. But after the image comes in, I think it looks really nice, like very uh, cell animation-y. Next up. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, so about a month ago, I saw this tweet from Greg DeVille who mentioned this kind of cool all-in-one like SD card on a chip. So I picked these up. These are really neat. So they're like, you know, the same size basically as wide SOIC 8s. And I soldered one to one of our little uh, SOIC breakouts and put on a um, breadboard, as you can see here. Wired it up just like an SD card, right? Not SPI flash, an SD card wiring to a Feather M4. And then I ran the uh, SD Fat demo, and yeah, it shows up as a uh, 512-ish megabyte um, SD card. It can format it with Fat 16. I think it comes pre-formatted by default. And then um, you know I ran our teeny USB demo, and uh, it you know comes up as a disk drive when I plug it in and run that code on the Feather M4. So this is really cool. I'm gonna make a breakout for these. Really neat. Okay, and for that one, I wanted to mention something. Okay. Um, so it was on Hackaday, and then, like, of course, Hackaday comments were like, this is an ad for Adafruit. They're part of the Big SD Coalition. Who? <laughs> Lizard people I'm conspiracies. I'm so, by Big SD. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I did want to clarify, like, we said exactly what this is and why it's good, but one of the things that I think that's really cool about this is you don't have to worry about the mechanical this, here's actually thing the, back and forth the number SD. one thing that this, I think, is useful for is there's a lot of people who build projects where they're like, I'm going to send it into... Um, not like space, space, but they're like near space, like into yeah. high, high air, rocketry or underwater where mechanical stability becomes a very big deal. And SD need a lot of data logging capability. They don't need to be very fast, so they don't need FRAM. They do need to have a lot of data uh, storage, so like images maybe, or like audio recordings, or just like a lot of data. And um, they just don't want to have the risk of the SD card coming loose, right? Because then they, they, they can actually, like, get desynced and, like, lose, not lose their data, but they can lose connectivity. Um, that can be a real problem. So these have size, of course. The size is very small, very light. And then, but that mechanical stability, it's like on a rocket, you know, a SD card could, even in a good um, mechanical clip, it could come loose, Whereas this, you know, yeah. it's soldered on. And this is not the same thing as EMMC that people are like, yeah, I've seen this before. It's not well, it's like, it's massive and you have to yeah. use 8-bit and, you know, it's, it's it, this yeah. is like trivial because it just shows up like an SD card. It's amazing. Yeah. SDIO or SPI. So anyways, um, just to make sure, like if you see this floating around, because pe the, the people who know what this is are like, that's really cool. That's really interesting. And then total randos try to, you know, kind of ruin it for everybody and oh, say nonsense. Okay. So I thought that was cool. Okay.